So what kind of exciting news do we have today? Well, Billy over here is fixing a minor oil leak. This is one of his old 70 pit bikes, 70 cc pit bikes that he's pounded the crap out of over the years. Well, everybody has. And uh, yeah, so he put oil in it yesterday because he said there ain't no oil in it. And he comes in this morning. Apparently there's a small oil leak. Just a small one. It's just, so, just minor. Just minor. The old Ferris with the 52 inch deck. Well, the shoe blocker wasn't going down. The motor was bad. So we stole one off the X mark. Put a new motor on there, foot pedal here, works just fine. There's that fancy new $700 uh, suspension seat that I bought for this thing because it came with that rickety little thing on there. But anyway, why am I running this today? Well, I'm running this sucker because yesterday on the very last lawn, I'm mowing along on the old 72. <laughs> Sound like a freaking stock car. Oh Another brand new engine that was put on it. Well, the pipe coming out of the motor split right in half for about that long and literally just split the pipe right open. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. But uh, the one mounting bracket that comes up and comes to the side of the engine, there's two bolts that go through it. There are no bolts in there. I don't know where they went. Didn't even know they were loose. I didn't put the exhaust on the brand new engine or the brand new exhaust on there. So I took it to the dealer and I said, check this out. And I'm like, you ever see one split like that? And he says, no, to me either. And I said, I think I know why. And I showed him. Bolts came out. I didn't put it together. So he said, I don't think I have one, but if I don't, then I'll get one here as fast as I can. I was like, all right, well, I have backup mower, so I'll be fine for a few days. At least we can finish out the week, whatever. So I'm running the old Ferris today. Um, and uh, hopefully he doesn't make me pay for it. It should be covered under warranty. I mean, they just put that brand new engine exhaust in there. Like I said, they put it together, not me. So not saying it's their fault. Shit happens. Bolts come out. But either way. Hopefully they cover it, because I don't want to have to pay for it. Let's go mow. Oh, somebody asked me in a video, they said, how do you guys get so many lawns done all the time? And so quickly, in a week. And I like to say route density, because that's what I always say. But I think it's mostly due to a lot of OSHA violations. So I ain't used to running this Ferris. I ain't been on a sit down zero turn in years. Anytime we take the Ferris, usually Max or Billy runs it. Man, it's freaking weird. So we just mowed. You can't really see it here because all these trees. But she got an oil leak. I smelled something going. There's some fresh oil down there. Fresh oil down there. I tried tightening up the filter. It turned a little bit, but it must be come from somewhere else. Billy's windstorming this long driveway. I plow this one too. But I was just cruising along here. And that old Ferris don't stop as fast as the right does. I ran head on into that big ass tree right there. It lifted me right off the seat, almost threw me right off the mower. I looked over at Billy because he was windstorming the driveway and he was like, laying over the front of the windstorm laughing. He caught me out of the corner of his eye. It like literally lifted me right up off the seat, almost threw me right off the mower. But it didn't stop as fast as the right does. I guess I'll have to pay a little more attention to that today. Oops. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh, Billy? <laughs> the Lorax, I take out trees. Mm -hmm. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees. <laughs> he knocked over someone's mailbox. Moron. I speak for the trees, all right. I'll set this camarito right there. I freaking, I kiss that freaking tree. Well, you did more than that. <laughs> Did you see that wooden sign that hangs off it? The sign's kind of dangling. You probably almost cut down the tree with the motor. <laughs> that thing don't stop as fast as the right does. 
And I was cruising along and you know the right you can kind of let off the controls and back off a little bit and it slows right down. Not that Ferris. Should keep going, bud. Yeah, it's because the tire's on it. I'll tell you it what, it slides forward. And it's a sit down zero turn. It's completely different than a standard. Oh. Better be careful with that soccer today. I might find myself in some trouble. Go over the edge of the cliff. Like making out with that tree. That'd be no good. Alright. On to the next. I'll get you all some footage today. Okay, so this lawn grows like wildfire, so I just, I usually cut it down super short. Billy's over there windstorming the neighbor's yard because he cut that one down super short too, but there's a lot more grass laying there. But usually I cut this down super short, and then I usually windstorm the whole thing just back to the cornfield. But there wasn't enough there to really justify doing it. It was quicker for me to just raise the deck up a couple notches and double cut it, and it came out fine. But we always got to cut it super short here because the guy that lives here is a prick and he wants it cut short. That's what we got to do. Wait a minute. 
Why is my bike here? <laughs>